Hi, it's Joan. This week we're continuing on advanced bidding and the convention I'd like to discuss is inverted minors. When you intend to raise partner, partner's minor opening, they open one club or one diamond, and you, who don't have a four card major and don't want to bid no trumps, intend to show your unbalanced hand with a fit for the minor by raising the minor. The way it's generally done is that one club or one diamond past two clubs or two diamonds shows six to nine or ten points and one club or one diamond past three clubs or three diamonds shows a better hand 11 or 11 to 12 or sometimes even more points. If you want to show a game forcing hand and with a minor it usually has to go one club past three no trumps. Well these things are a bit dangerous because you've wasted a lot of space and you don't even know whether you should be playing in no trumps or whether you should be playing in a minor. So inverted minors is a good idea. It actually just means reversing and swapping the meaning of one club, two clubs and one club, three clubs. So that the stronger raise is one club past two clubs. And that means that we will now investigate at the two level and the three level before we have to commit to three no trumps whether we want to play three no trumps do we have stoppers or should we play five or six of the minor it's much better than wasting space with good hands so the way an inverted minor raise would go is let's say partner opens one club and it goes pass and you bid two clubs showing 11 or more points no major and a fit in clubs then partner will tell you whether they've got a hand that is suitable to play no trumps and the way they'll do it is by bidding no trumps if they have stoppers in the other suits and they know that the opponents can't play a suit and take five or six tricks in it if they don't have stoppers in the other suits, they actually name the suit they've got a stopper in, particularly in a major. For example, one club past two clubs past two hearts. That would never be a heart suit. In inverted minors, what that says is, I have a stopper in hearts, but I don't have a stopper in spades, partner. Please bid no trumps if you can control the spade suit. It wouldn't be a heart suit because the responder would have bid hearts before they raised clubs to two in the first place. So you're never in concern that it's a, a suit. It's simply stopper showing. So one club past two clubs past two no trumps would say, I'm okay for no trumps. I've got stoppers in both the majors. One club past two clubs past two hearts or two spades says I have a stopper in this suit but I need you to have a stopper in the other suit to actually bid three no trumps. Try inverted minors they're very easy it means that we reserve the weak hands weak unbalanced hands for jumping to three which also works well preemptively so one club past three clubs would playing inverted minors be a weak hand, unbalanced, no major, with a long club suit. And we reserve one club, two clubs for the better hands where we think we're going to be making our contract and we want to investigate by using the two and the three level of bidding to do that. I'm just about to start March Zooms and I've got two totally new topics I'd like to cover. One of them is commonly made mistakes in declarer play. If we don't have mistakes pointed out, we sometimes don't realise they're mistakes. So the four lessons are geared to looking at various aspects of declarer play and how we can fix our little errors up. Because remember, bridge is a game of mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes, but it's just fixing our mistakes that turn us into better bridge players. And the other Zoom topic is that next round of the bidding after the first round is over. Boy, that's a big area. 
and that's where we show shape and point count and fits and no trumps and all sorts of things but it's an enormous area and I'd like to try and work in these four zooms on making it a little bit clearer for people the next round of the bidding. Anyone who's completed a beginner's course will probably enjoy either of the zooms I've got for March. And we've just advertised my first two holidays for 2022. Can't wait. We're going back to Spices in the Hunter in June and we're going to the beautiful Blue Mountains to Lilienfels in August. Hope to see you there. Have a great week everyone. Balanced 13 point hand with four clubs so we would open one club. Partner has made an inverted raise to two clubs. They've denied four hearts or four spades. They'll have an unbalanced hand and they'll have at least five clubs. And they'd like to know if we can play no trumps or should we play clubs. So the next step is to show partner where we've got stoppers for no trumps. We've only got a spade stopper and not a heart stopper. So we actually bid two spades. Partner will not think this is a suit because they would have bid spades if they had four spades in the first place. Now they're bidding two no trumps and we're happy to raise to three. Their two no trumps has guaranteed stoppers in the other suits. On a diamond lead, we've got hopefully six club tricks. One diamond trick is seven and two spades are nine and a heart is ten. So we're in the right spot, win the king of diamonds, start clubs and we find that the clubs have broken 2-1 so all our clubs are winners. And we've made seven tricks, so let's just take our ten. We might make an extra one in diamonds, but not when we've taken our hearts and spades because we will have set up the winners uh, for east-west. We've got ten tricks, so... That is it. So inverted minors allow us to sort of scientifically get to three no trumps, knowing we've got stoppers in the other suits.